In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a pack of digital flashcards for your students that can help them learn vocabulary before the lesson. This is part of the flipped learning method, meaning students do relevant homework for a lesson before the lesson rather than after, so they're more able to put the target language into practice when they're working with you in class. This way, you're giving them the context for your next lesson, and you're giving them the tools to prepare so that they can utilize what they've practiced when they're in class. When you teach vocabulary in a lesson, it's hard for students to learn 10 new words and then immediately turn around and use them properly. This small addition to your teaching package adds enormous value for your student. And when you add the link to these cards, to your Trello card for that lesson, you can send them the cards the week before your lesson. I use a free online program and app called Quizlet, which allows me to make cards and to use cards that other teachers have made. I simply send the link to my students. Click the button below this video and it will take you to a set of Quizlet cards I've made. Here you can see I have a category of cards. These are all about health and sickness. And you can see that I have 22 cards that I've made here and you can see them as I scroll down. Because this is a lower level course, I've simply added pictures instead of written definitions to the fronts of the cards. Students can use these on their computer or on their phone or tablet, and they can play with them in different ways. They can learn them, They can study them with flashcards. If they want to hear a pronunciation, Quizlet automatically produces the sound in English. Fever. Fever. They can write or spell or test what they've learned. And then they can also play games. The beauty of this is that you can set the link to each deck up on your Trello card for that Lexis lesson or grammar point, so it's always ready to email to the next student. So let's do that right now. So the first thing I want to do is I want to share this deck. I'm going to go to this little arrow here, share. I can email them directly, but I want to put it onto my Trello card. So I simply copy the link close this, go to my Trello board, find A2 Health and Sickness, open up the card, and here I've already listed the words that are on the cards for my reference when I'm planning this lesson. So now I'm going to write a pre-homework message that I can send to students. Hi students, and I can fill that in. Please study these cards before our next lesson. Copy the, paste the link. Now, anytime that I see that these are coming up for the next lesson, I can simply copy this and email it to the appropriate student. Now, I want to make sure that I label this pre-work which means that I have something to send before, this, before I teach this lesson, preferably a few days to a week before. So if I close it, now you can see that the pre-work label is on the front of the card. So when I see this coming up, I know that I can quickly email that to my student. Quizlet's also great because it keeps a library of cards that other teachers have created and made public. And so you can simply search and find what you're looking for. So I like to search for ESL first, and then let's say I wanted a time set of cards. So we get a lot of options. 16 terms, 12 terms, 36. I'm gonna try this one. So first thing I wanna do is open it up and just verify that it's correct, because after all, this is open source. You just don't wanna give your students anything that's wrong. But here it is all set to go. So you're gonna make a copy and I can just name it what I want. I'm gonna call it 
A2. I like to keep the levels on my on my cards. And now I create it. And now it's mine. And I can go ahead and copy that link and go into my Trello board and go A2 time and do the same thing. And now that this deck is mine, I can edit it as I want. So I would go all the way down to the bottom. I'm gonna add or remove terms. And let's say I wanted to teach the British way of, of speaking about time. So instead of 4.30, I would say it's half past four. And I can go ahead and save that. If you have the paid account, um, you can actually go in, it's a couple bucks a month, you can go in and you can record your own voice messages, which is pretty great. But um, you don't have to, it reads it in the woman's voice. If you can't find what you're looking for in the various Quizlet sets, you can just make your own deck. So that's what we're gonna do here. So when you go into any of the Lexus and Receptive lessons, you can see that there is a link to the Cambridge Lexus list for that level. And if you click on that, it's gonna take you to this PDF document. If you go down, let's see, on page 21, the words are grouped by category, so I've already gone down, and I'm going to use the category travel and transport. And I'm not gonna give my students all of these words, so I'm gonna go in here and pick out uh, 10 to 15 that I wanna teach in one lesson. So I've decided already which ones I'm gonna teach, and I've gone ahead and put it on the card just so when I'm lesson planning I know oh these are the words that I've put in the cards this is what I'm going to teach and I decided to narrow it down to airport transit so I can go ahead and copy that save it now I'm going to go over to Quizlet and I'm going to create create a new study set we're gonna call it the level A2 and air travel. Okay, then you can either go in word by word and enter them here, or you can import from Word, Excel, Google Docs, etc. That's what I wanna do, and I'm just gonna paste that list that I've made right there. Import, and now I've just filled out the back of all of my cards. This side where it says definition, this is the front of your card. And on the front of your card, you can put um, a pic an image. Like I said, if you have the paid version, you can record yourself speaking, but it's not necessary. So at this level, at A2, I wanna add images, and Quizlet allows you to go through their sort of bank, and it already sees what your term is, and so it, it kind of smartly looks for what you're looking for. So that's a good one for airport, and now it's on the card. Airplane, I'm gonna choose that one. And I can go through this whole thing. Now, something like flight, let's see what they come up with for that. Eh, it, it's hard to put flight into pictures. So you might choose something like that, but you can also type a definition. So the time when you are flying. And then once these are all done, you can create the deck by clicking Create. And let's just see what those look like so far. Oh, you need to choose a definition language. So for example, if I make cards in Czech, which I sometimes do when I'm learning Czech, um, you can choose language and it'll pronounce it as if it were in Czech. So English. So now they know that all of these are going to be English terms. So we can create it and let's see what it has for a flashcard. There we go. And you can always go back and add more terms, um, but as long as you give them the link, it'll always take them to your most updated version. Adding Quizlet cards to your package is a great way to make the lessons more valuable for your student, help them learn more, make your teaching easier, and when you plug it into the Trello for TEFL system, it literally takes a few seconds to email to any student who has that lesson.